Odyssey camper here, hanging out at Turquoise Lake near Leadville, Colorado. Just thought I'd shoot a quick video of my campsite and my current setup while I'm traveling. I had a couple of people ask me. Uh, this is not going to be professional quality. I'm just going to walk around here and I'll probably be out of breath because I'm at 10,000 feet and I can't believe what a difference that makes when you're moving around. But it um, made hiking a little difficult. So anyway, walking up to the van, I've got my tri-levelers under the front wheels. And those things have been awesome for leveling the bed. Just put a level on the, the bottom of the bed and then drive up on them until you get your bed level. If the bed's level, you'll be happy when you're sleeping. And the van is filthy because I just went up to Hangerman Pass, uh, which is cool. I wouldn't go past the landing at the top. I tried going up the four-wheel drive trail and uh, had to do a three-point turn on the edge of a cliff. So that wasn't fun. But uh, one of the guys in the 4 by 4 is like, what are you doing? You can't go up there. And I said, well, how bad is it? And he said, I wouldn't try it. It's pretty gnarly. So I took his advice. You can see all the scratches down the side, or actually they're just in the dirt um, from me hugging the trees, trying to get over for people that were passing. It's a pretty narrow road. Hagerman Pass, did I say that? Okay, so here's the solar panel up on the roof. That's been working great. Keep my battery pack charged. Built it on a Unistrut. And it's just held on there with uh, some standoffs so I can remove it when I get home and I'm not using it. Held on in 85, 90 mile an hour winds while I was driving, so it should be fine. I've only got my rear screens in tonight, and probably only for another uh, hour or so. It's 74 out, and it's supposed to go down to 30, so I don't think I'll need them. So going inside the van here. I'm still using the cot. Before I left, I started building the bed, and I decided I didn't want to go out on a long trip not knowing how comfortable the bed was. So my trusty Coleman cot. And here's my uh, clean clothes and other things, and trash bags, dried food, so uh, oatmeal, soups, and whatnot. I've also got some canned stuff on the other side, and then, of course, my coffee kit, and my Pop-Tarts. Something new this trip is uh, this Proctor Silex slow cooker. I plan on using that to heat up some food and whatnot. My immersion heater hanging here, plugged into the battery pack. Battery pack and inverter. Um, that's been working just great. And then I've got a Reflectix uh, screen up in the front window to keep out the sun. I've also got the ones in the rear. Got the felt side on on these two, and the other one I just left the way it was. I could flip them over and then put the felt in or the reflective out, but it doesn't really matter if you're at a campground. I'm not stealth camping here. So the other thing is uh, I decided to go with one water bucket instead of two. I find that five gallons of water lasts a long time. I can always get more at the store or fill it up when I find a place to fill up. I added a paper towel hanger. You can hear me gasping here at 10,000 feet trying to talk. And a fan. This little fan works great. It's only 60 watts, and so I can run it all night off of my battery pack if I need to. Um, it stays in place there. The paper towels kind of hold it when I'm driving down the road. And then the double mats to kneel on. One will go outside tonight and I'll put my shoes on it so I don't track dirt in the van. And what's up front here? Just trash bag, pamphlets that you seem to pick up at every uh, every stop. And then under there is a gym bag for going to the showers and whatnot when I do have a chance to get a shower. So that's how I'm currently traveling. Unfortunately, I'm not getting 28 miles to the gallon like I usually do. I'm getting about 22 going through the mountains. Might have something to do with all these bugs splattered all over the front. Must be uh, altering my wind resistance. <laughs> so if you got any questions, go ahead and uh, stick them down in the comments. And uh, I guess the one thing I'd add is, on this side I've got just regular insect screen. And you can look through that and see. It's pretty, pretty easy to see through. On the other side I've got the solar screen. So if I go around to this side, you can see where this stuff is really hard to see through. It keeps out the no seams, but it also uh, doesn't breathe as well. Uh, so I think I'll just go with the regular screens. But right now, there are really no bugs out here. It's uh, breezy, nice breeze coming off the lake, and it's keeping the flies and mosquitoes down. All right. Well, I hope my uh, gasping wasn't too annoying, and I uh, hope you enjoyed getting out in the wild here for a little bit. And we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.